The development of the torpedo was the single most revolutionary event for the designers of military vessels. Torpedoes, which may strike the ship below the sea line, have the potential to send a tremendous amount of explosive force to a location on a warship that is not well fortified. A torpedo is a self-propelled underwater missile that carries an explosive warhead to a target. Early torpedoes damaged their target by exploding as soon as it made contact. These torpedoes were called contact torpedoes. Newer torpedoes can detonate once in close proximity to a target. These proximity torpedoes do not even have to touch the ship to inflict damage upon it. The main difference between a torpedo and a missile is that Torpedoes are self-propelled explosives, often launched below, or slightly above the surface of the water. Torpedoes, once launched, find their targets in the water and explode below the surface, allowing the surrounding water to quickly capsize and destroy the ship. On the other hand, missiles carry their explosive payload through the air, or possibly space, before crashing into their target. But what happens if you merge a cruise missile with a torpedo? That's exactly what India did recently. In 2020, India successfully carried out a test firing of a long-range supersonic missile-assisted torpedo, also known as SMART, from Abdul Kalam Island. The DRDO SMART project seemed mysterious, because there were few details about what the system was. This was different from the programs to make ballistic missiles or stealth fighters. The Ministry of Defense's annual report for 2018 gave one of the first details about what SMART is. In the report, the Ministry of Defense said, DRDO has taken up a project to develop and demonstrate a missile-assisted release of lightweight anti-submarine torpedo system for ASW operations far beyond torpedo range. The Ministry of Defense also said that tests of ejection had been done with the Torpedo Advanced Light, or TAU, which is a torpedo made in India and is also known as the Shaina. DRDO has set all mission objectives including the missile's flight up to the designated range and altitude, separation of its nose cone, release of the torpedo, and deployment of velocity reduction mechanism were met perfectly. Velocity reduction mechanism is needed for the missile because its speed needs to slow down so it can launch the lightweight torpedo without sending it into an out of control. It was one of the most difficult technical tasks for the project and one of the most difficult technical problems in general. And the following year, in 2021, a second test of SMART was successfully carried out from the integrated test range. The whole flight path was watched over by the electro-optic telemetry system in addition to a number of range radars, including the downrange equipment and ships. The missile was probably equipped with DRDO's advanced lightweight torpedo, as well as a delivery system that used parachutes and release mechanisms. Surface warships, especially in the West, have usually carried lightweight torpedoes as their main anti-submarine weapon since heavyweight torpedoes are much bigger and can only be carried a few at a time. However, lightweight torpedoes have a shorter range. Because of their short range, lightweight torpedoes are usually used to defend against enemy submarines. This is where rocket-assisted torpedoes come in. Not only do they help extend a torpedo's range, but they also help it travel farther in less time. Smart anti-submarine warfare systems are essentially hybrid weapons in which the DRDO merged existing weapon systems and combined them to satisfy the program's aims. The very first thing that they did was take their solid fuel supersonic cruise missile booster and also added a data link to the missile. 
the purpose of which was to enable the missile to make mid-flight adjustments to its trajectory and receive real-time information on the target in supersonic flight. As soon as it is established, beyond a reasonable doubt, that a hostile submarine is present in the area, the smart ASW will fire, and the missile will take some time to reach its target as it flies through the air. During this time, the enemy submarine will have the opportunity to alter its course, which is where the data connection will come into play. The data connection works well for making mid-course adjustments or updating aim points in general. During this specific span of time, the torpedo will lie dormant within the missile until it is released into the water. If it works like the one made in the US, the Indian missile will launch, let go of its booster, and then take the torpedo out of its casing. A parachute is used to drop the torpedo from the missile so that it hits the water softly. The torpedo will then drop nose first into the water, detach its parachute at the surface, and the torpedo will then begin its search for hostile submarines. Weapon systems like these are more difficult to detect when compared to delivering the identical torpedo by aircraft or boat, which both have bigger and more persistent radar signals. This is because missiles that fall into the sea after releasing a torpedo into the ocean have a smaller radar signature. The threat of naval conflict is raised by the proliferation of anti-ship and anti-submarine weapons like these. India, like its neighbors, China and Pakistan, has a nuclear arsenal. But having a diverse collection of weapons allows the country's military and political authorities to react to possible threats in a number of different ways. Thanks to SMART, the Indian Navy can now engage hostile submarines from great distances.